Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an African drum. I'm going to take two fingers at the top in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. So I go straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, and connect. I come on the left hand side and I just draw a little curve line out on the left. Come on the right hand side, draw a little curve line out on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line all the way to the opposite side and connect. I come back to the left. I draw a straight diagonal line in on the left. Come on the right. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal line in on the right. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out and down on the left. Come back up on the right. Draw a straight diagonal line out on the right. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over and connect. And then I'm going to come back to the left and draw a straight line out on the left straight line out on the right and go back to the left connect the two with a slightly curved line and connect okay starting back at the top inside if you have room I'm just gonna put some dots inside my wavy wavy line space and what we're gonna do is a series of different types of patterns on the spaces in some lines. So I start on the left and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over, connect to the right. Inside this space I'm going to draw some little straight lines, a dotted line, all the way across. I come down a little bit further and I draw another curved line, connect, and inside this line I'm going to draw zigzag. So I go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, all the way across. Now because we all draw differently, some of us might have bigger zigzags than others and others might have smaller zigzags and it's okay. I come back on the left, I draw another curve line over, connect, and inside this um, space I'm going to draw some more dotted lines across. And I come down to this section on the left, draw another curved line across, and inside this space I'm going to draw some little baby triangles. So basically what we're doing is we're working our way down. Right where the indentation is, I'm going to draw another curved line over, connect, and then I'm going to draw one, two, three curved lines for that center space and now I'm going to start again. I come down a little bit further, draw a curve line over, connect and inside this one I'm going to draw curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Draw another slightly curved line across and inside this one I'm going to draw some rectangles. Now maybe some of you drew your lines a little bit bigger and you're running out of space just stop when you get to the end doesn't matter everything is okay come back to the left again I draw another curve line if you have room I'm gonna draw some teardrops curve line connect curve line connect curve line connect I'm going to come down again on the left and draw another curve line across if you have room. And I'm going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. In this last space, I'm going to put one, two straight lines and one across. One, two straight lines, one across. 
two straight lines, one across, keep going, two straight lines, one across, two straight lines, and across. And if you have room on the very bottom, I'm just going to do a series of straight lines. Now, like I said, some of you might have run out of room already, and that's okay. Some of you might have more room. If you have more room, keep drawing curved lines and filling in the spaces with uh, different kinds of shapes and patterns and designs. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I went through my crayon box and found as many different colors of brown as I could because this is basically different color browns. But if you only have one brown, then you want to use light, dark, and in between as you're coloring. You can also add some more other colors. But this top one I'm doing tan and then I come down and I'm going to do, I call this the waist. I'm going to do the waist section tan also. And then I'm going to come down and do my zigzags tan. So I want to make sure whatever color I use that I have a top color, a, me, a middle color, and then a bottom color. So I'm going to put some tan down here. Now one of the other colors you can use is orange. You can use red. You can use purple. You can use green. All right, my next layer I did with a lighter reddish brown. And as I do my colors, what I do is I pick the color and I work my way down my drum. And every place that I use that color, I color it in without worrying about the outside color, just to get my backgrounds and my little details already done. Again, this is another color brown. And if you, like I said, if you don't have brown, you could make this section orange. Uh, don't forget using black. Black is a good one. So I used a little bit of black, not too much. You don't want to take out all your little designs that you just drew. But black is very useful. And really what you're doing, you're doing natural colors because that's what the drums would be made of. They would be made of pigments and paints that would be found in nature. Okay. And finally I come in with my regular brown and do some of these sections. Work my way down. And you, like I said before, you don't want to color so dark that you lose all of your designs. And... Um, you know, some of these might look good purple or green or red. It's up to you. You're the artist. You can do it. There we go. So, you're going to work from top to bottom. Use your colors. Color, take your time. Color in all the little details so it looks really super when you're done. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my drum all colored in. It would look really good cut out. And maybe with some other people's drums, make a whole set of drums. Possibly for your Black History Bulletin Board or World Art. Okay, bye-bye.